All right, guys, so today this is just going to be a quick video on how to remove the, uh, the factory uh, crossbars from the, uh, from the roof rails. And this is actually pretty easy to do. You're going to want to make sure that you have the factory covers and also the uh, provided tool. If you don't have that, you can substitute a, uh, a socket. Um, but these right here, you will need those as well. Again, there's probably a way to do it without it, but... Um, you know, make sure you're, we're using the right tools and that way we don't have any issues. And if for some reason, um, you know, maybe you bought your RAV4 um, and it didn't come with these parts, I will link this. Uh, I'll actually put it in the video, all the part numbers. All right, so the first thing we're going to start with is we're just going to use this tool right here. And... That's just going to go in right here to loosen that. And you can see it shows you which direction to turn for lock and unlock. All right. So uh, let me set this on the tripod and uh, we'll get started on that. All right, guys. So first step, we're just going to use this little tool right here. And it's just going to go in there. And you're just going to turn this counterclockwise. Again, it is marked right here. It just fits over it. And this is actually it doesn't really require a lot. And that's pretty much it right there. And now we're just going to pop these covers off. You can pull up on this. And that just removes just like that. And you can see it really didn't take all that much to remove it. And that's going to expose this bolt right here. And again, you can use this tool that's provided by Toyota. Um, this is probably more important when you're actually putting the rails on. Um, you can see that little hole right there. And when you're tightening it, this black piece right here will actually move over to that hole. And that will tell you basically that uh, the correct torque amount has been reached. You don't want to over tighten that. Of course, you need it tight enough to ensure that it doesn't come off or it's not moving around at all. So if you don't have this and you're just removing them, it's not really going to be that big of a deal. You can just use a standard socket, and I believe it's a it is a 13 millimeter socket, and that'll fit on there just fine. Like I said, that's for removing it. If you were putting it on, you would want to use this tool or use a torque wrench. And I'll put those specs up. So we're just going to remove this bolt. All right, so that's going to come up a little bit. And you're just going to take this bolt out and this little lock washer right here. And we're just going to repeat this on the other side. And you can see this rail's already moved up. Once we remove the other side, the rail just pops off. All right, guys. So now that the other, other cover has been removed on the opposite side and as well as the uh, bolt, you're just going to lift this rail up just like that. It's just going to come straight off. Make sure, obviously, there is a gasket that's right here. Make sure you have that gasket with it and that it's not stuck on here. All right guys, so with the cross rail removed, we're just gonna install the cover. This is the cover right here. It'll actually tell you. Hopefully you guys can see that. Right here, it's gonna say R and then it's gonna say, let's see if I can get that to focus a little bit better. All right. And hopefully you guys can see that where it says FR, so that's front right-hand side, which of course corresponds to passenger. The L would be for the driver's side. You guys will see this notch up at the top. That is going to face the inside part of the vehicle. Let me get that back to focus. And so we're just going to put it on here. Put the outer edge first. Again, that notch will go facing inward of the vehicle. 
And then we're just going to press it down. Clips right in. You're all done. Repeat that process for the other side and for the rear rail. And then the uh, you'll have a nice clean look. Hopefully this video has helped you out. If it has, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you on the next video.